Ja, ja, ja. And, 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 and let's just articulate after the ba 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 bang on. And then what he does, I mean, in many ways, I, I'm, I'm, well, we can, we can talk about that over yet another beer, but, but in many ways, I must say, I find this concerto one of the best that, I mean, th there is no such thing as Bach's best concerto, but if there was, this could be a candidate. Would be a candidate. <laughs> What I find very attractive also about especially this C major concerto is that usually when Bach writes a piece for uh, two instruments, two violins or two harpsichords, he divides the parts very equally. So you play the same soli but in a different key. And in this piece, it's, uh, the, the, especially the cadences are completely different, completely different, different yeah. character, uh, everything is different. Uh, but also for the rest of the piece, it's not so mathematically divided between the instruments. It's no. not that one is more important than the other, it's just different. And you really get the feeling that Bach must have written these for very specific players, for very specific yeah. temperaments and very specific characters uh, to form this enormous conversation, which of course is a whole family talking together and expressing themselves together. And now... In the first two bars we play... We all elaborate on the original, probably unisono, tutti. Then we each get a bar at a time. Meno plays. Sieber takes over. And then... Uh, so that's suddenly a sort of three-way, three-way conversation. So. Even though the three harpsichords are playing constantly all the time, the music changes for almost every single bar. Later on, in the last movement of course, we get decidedly a solo each. A uh, long stretch where just one player plays for a while. I mean, I simply cannot play that. The second, the, the second solo. I could when I was 35. It's, it's gone. It's gone. The way this solo here is written is, is indeed a little, a little awkward. So um, you better. You better prepare yourself a little for this, uh, for this passage. Especially one moment here where the hands have to fly over each other. I don't know if I should show a little bit of that, so... This is actually not, not, so, not so difficult. No. It's just uh, you're in one position and... But now... You have to very quickly... Which, yeah, is a matter of coordination. Yeah! And so on. I'm so envious, I'm so envious. You play fast. There's a kind of e-bike built in there. E-bikes? Yeah, it's electric. Yes, I've got a little. Are you, electro are you electronically enhanced? <laughs> now, what Bach actually did, I th think that's what we think that he adapted the violin part with the repeating notes uh, into yeah. harpsichord yeah. music. Exactly. Yeah. Which, of course, is a very common yeah. violin, violin figuration. I often say to my students that they shouldn't complain if, if any position or a change of position is difficult because. Uh, go practice the violin and try to play the more difficult violin music. That's oh, yeah. all so much more oh, yeah. tricky. So I'm sure that Bach brought his violinistic virtuosity to the keyboard, yeah. uh, which maybe partly explains this, this new level of exuberant yes. virt virtuosic yes. Uh, yes. treatment of the instrument. Yes. Left hand up, I think. Of course, it's a, it's a super experienced string player. Players are so used to play with other string players, and we 
almost never play together. Exactly. exactly. And you are confronted with your own uh, um, bad behaviors and uh, <laughs> also you practice it and then it's, you play it together and it's suddenly completely different. I know that when I get home today I will have to practice certain things because it felt quite different playing uh, together. But, uh, that perhaps that's also the reason, apart from the fact that it's very nice music and entertaining, that Bach wrote these pieces, perhaps for his sons, and uh, to have the experience to really play together, it's quite hard. Of course there are things we need to agree on, but there is still occasions, opportunities for being individual and maybe doing it a little different from what the previous player did with a similar motive. And I think that enhances the whole concept of conversation and exchange, if not discussion, <laughs> uh, that is also a very, very strong element of, of these pieces here. Charlie. 